Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio Sense. Today we're going to be talking about a new release with Azaro, and that is Azaro Wanted Tonic. Now, tonic is an interesting word. It's spelled T-O-N-I-C, or sometimes you'll see it spelled T-O-N-I-Q-U-E. What tonic typically is, it's a usually when there are a like a pillar fragrance, there'll be flankers, and then finally they'll get to the tonic version, which is more like a spring or summer or a lighter version of a product DNA, a fragrance DNA. So is that what tonic is for Wanted? Wanted is a fragrance that I really enjoy, Wanted by Night. Both are great fragrance releases by Azaro, at least in my estimation. I've given them good reviews in the past, and I'm looking forward to trying this out. Let's see how Tonic stacks up to Wanted and Wanted by Night, coming up next. Welcome back, guys. Today we're talking about Azaro Wanted Tonic. Now, when this first came out, I was super excited because I like the original Wanted and then the darker version of Wanted by Night super well. Really enjoy those fragrances. But I have to say, after giving this some wear, at first, when I sprayed it on, I really enjoyed that open. I was like, all right, all right, I see what you're doing there. I kind of I like that lighter. Got the, you got the ginger, got the lime and then you've got uh, some benzoin or styrax there to warm it up and give it kind of that creamy sweetness. Then I give it about 20 minutes and it's pretty much gone. So this should be called Wanted Fragrance, like a, like a Wanted poster. Fragrance is missing. Here's a reward if you can find this fragrance because it's missing. Unfortunately, Tonic is a super supremely light version of the Wanted DNA and really not that great of a version. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about why. I think it's fair to go over the note breakdown, so let's check out that note breakdown. Here's the note breakdown for Azaro Wanted Tonic. In the top, we've got lime and cardamom. In the mid, ginger and aquatic notes. Going down into the base, we've got patchouli and benzoin. Let's go over the presentation a little bit. Of course, you've got the iconic cylinder of the, I don't know if that's again, a Colt 45, I should probably look that up but it's kind of a neat, you've got the Azaro A in the middle of what's to be a cylinder with some rounds in it. So you've got six rounds in this. And so on the front of the box, you've got the blue. It is a neat box. You've got the gold and blue, blue indicating like a fizzy, like a tonic, aquatic tonic. And on the back, you've just got some product information. And on the very bottom, you've got your SKU and then your batch code. So nothing on either side of the box so that's pretty much it T just a typical box similar to wanted and wanted by night it is embossed on the inside it's kind of neat you got your six rounds embossed on the inside of the lid there i really do enjoy the wanted presentation some people might think it's cheesy and that's okay but i like it i think it's really neat this one is silver so you can see you got your azaro on the lid there you can kind of see the you can kind of see the texture on the silver there. And then of course the juice is blue. You can see that. And on the very bottom of the bottle, if you aren't already familiar, familiar with it, it says Azaro across the bottom of the bottle. And of course on the very bottom, you've just got a sticker with the batch code on it. Now this is really, uh, I think a unique presentation. Again, similar to Wanted, Wanted by Night. So A plus on the presentation for me, I really do like it. The problem lies with the juice. Now blue, typically, one of the challenges that I feel that's facing all of blue fragrances is power. There's not a ton of power, unless you're talking about like Blue de Chanel, Parfum version, something like that, then they do, they, they do are, are very often challenged by longevity and, and projection, in fact. This one is, it's almost non-existent. When you first spray this on, you get a really nice popping uh, spritz of citrus with the lime and the ginger. Ginger is something that does, is used to good effect in fragrances to make it lift off the skin. And then you've got some benzoin, you've got some green cardamom in there in the top as well to, to make it a nice aquatic green. Uh, I think you've even got some aqua aquatic notes in the mid as well to kind of give it a nice 
lifting aquatic fragrance. The campaign that predicated the release of this is a like a, an athletic. There's like a male model and a female model, and they're just like going back and forth with these different challenges. They want you. They want you. They want you. Itzaro Wanted, and now Itzaro Wanted Tonic by Itzaro. In fact, I'll show you some screenshots here that'll give you an idea. Try the tonic challenge with shadow boxing. And so you think, okay, this is a sports fragrance. And in fact, this particular tonic should be called um, Azaro Wanted Sport instead of tonic because it is more like a standard gym or sport fragrance. The only difference in a sport fragrance than this is that this doesn't have any staying power. Typically sport fragrances are heat activated and when they kick in the heat you get a little bit more boost right and you get a little bit more longevity and quite a bit more projection like a two two to three foot radius of projection this does not do that at all the fragrance itself is pleasant enough especially in the top in that open but once that dries down and it dries down relatively quickly it's just not there there's really not a lot to carry it thus the joke wanted put in a reward for this a bounty for this if you can find the fragrance you'll get a reward because it is just almost non-existent. It is kind of a disappointment because I really do, I really wanted to like this. I really like the Azaro Wanted DNA uh, and Wanted and Wanted by Night and I thought this was a great opportunity for them to carry that forward for a summer, a spring and summer version and that's what they tried to do but I don't think they succeeded. Now having said all that you might try it out and you might like it might mix completely differently with the oils of your skin however i can't imagine that there's a tremendous difference as as always though please try out a sample before you buy it i would not blind buy this to see if you're going to even like it at all and even if that open as pleasant as it is if it's going to be even worth purchasing just for a nice few minutes of an open and then not much of a mid to dry down to speak of at all. All right, guys, that's it for my review of Zara Wanted Tonic. I really appreciate you stopping by. If you'd like to leave any of your thoughts in the comments below, if you've tried this fragrance out, or if you have any thoughts about it or any other fragrance similar to it, please feel free to do so. As always, thank you so much for your support. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time. Stop.